Also tonight, chilling new surveillance video in the violent abduction and carjacking of two grandmothers at the Motor City Casino. 7 Action News reporter Aaron Baskerville is live in Detroit with an update to that story we broke 24 hours ago. Stephen, like you said, it's a story we first told you about last night. We've been on this story all day as well. Now new surveillance video could offer more clues. Surveillance video from Motor City Casino showing the kidnapping and carjacking suspect hours before he would attack two grandmothers. He has a conversation with the security guard before continuing on. What kind of person takes advantage of these, of these ladies? Well, obviously somebody that's uh, out here desperate to, to do something like that, uh, but, uh, you know, criminal. Beverly Hill and Janet Dupree told their story to 7 Action News last night. The sisters were confronted in the parking lot around 5 in the morning Thursday by that suspect with a gun seen in a photo riding the elevator minutes before striking. We stopped at the field and he told us to get out of the car. Then I thought he's going to kill us. Video shows the two women walking out followed by the suspect. That attack happens on camera but too far away to see anything. He forced them into their car, robbed them, and made them drive to a field where he left them. The car, now in the hands of investigators, was recovered from the casino today. He didn't cover his face or his identity, it looks like. That's what we hope when uh, the pictures get out there that somebody will be able to identify them. Those women combined only had about $50 on them. A good Samaritan walking by them on the street saw them and took them to the nearest police station. For now, we're live in Detroit, Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News. So hope they catch that guy. Thank you so much, Aaron. Alive